Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to the stream. How's it going? Uh, today we are on Thompson watch because I saw Thompson was streaming a pretty rare occurrence And he was playing none other than Tusk Mitt and what better way to learn than to watch a game from the perspective of let's check it out he has the old minimap overlay that has the bounty runes and the map in a different location than where it, it should be <laughs> see like the gold rune is in front of the secret shop and then here at the ledge towards roshan different places topson two-time ti winner uh, i call him topias you're big I mean, I know a lot of uh, top players. It's not a big deal to me, but uh, we're pretty tight, so I call him Topias, but his nickname is actually Thompson. He picks Tusk. Give last pick to my carry. Nice. He's giving last pick to his carry. Yeah, I usually do the same as well. Ah, yeah, now he can counter pick Seb. That's nice. And he's playing against Seb. Which one is Seb? Is this... Ah, it's Magnus. The, the dash dash rank 177 is set. That's cool, he's playing. Why is Tusk mid uh, suddenly becoming a thing? What changed for Tusk? I don't know. I haven't followed patches in detail to know what significance there might be for Tusk mid. I just know a couple of people play it. Nine, Topson, and Gunnar. That's all I know. Hey, he's a strong playmaker. <laughs> All right, let's check it out. He gets the exact same items that Gunnar also yes. recommended us, which is uh, Quelling Blade, Branch Branch, Fairy Fire, Tango, and Observer Ward. Now, I saw a tiny bit of this game when I decided I want to watch the whole thing, but I had to go earlier today. I saw he didn't place the Observer Ward immediately. I don't know if that's a, a stream anti-snipe thing, where he figured every time he played it early and he streams, people will take it down early. Or if he would do the same thing in competitions. I have for you. He didn't pick ability yet, and he walks uphill, which could be risky. So. But he could always quickly pick snowball and, and wait for allies. He knew they were relatively near. They were looking at potential first bloods. He's not hard committing <laughs> with either shard or snowball. snowball. It's okay, it's okay. They're looking for opportunities and they all did decided not to go for it. Onward. Nine was trying it out more than a year ago. Oh, I see, I see. That's interesting. Got it. So the bounty rune scuffle. One observer ward is on the high ground here. And he heads mid to start body blocking. Now here's something cool I noticed. Uh, his nickname is Flop, right? Topson. Topson Flopson tongue-in-cheek self-deprecating joke i mean he proved himself okay look he uses his cursors on uh he uses directional arrow keys to move because when you think about it if you use edge pan your mouse keeps going top right but you want to be here to block and if you use scroll pan you're still holding your scroll wheel and you still can't move the only way to keep moving in the middle of the screen and keeping your screen in the middle of the screen is using arrow keys. So that's really interesting. Uh, I've seen that before in a video. I think it was from Jenkins that said there is a reason why top players, including Matumba Man, uh, use arrow keys sometimes or often. It's because your mouse is completely unaffected by it. And the other scroll methods all use your mouse. You can also hold F1. Ah, yeah. He was... Uh, he's holding select hero, camera centers on the hero. Oh, yeah, you can see it going after the cursor. Okay. Cool, so that's the fourth me method then. Keep in mind that when I say he's using arrow keys, it's interchangeable with WASD, if that's how you use your camera keys. That's not important what you particularly assigned it to. He missed one CS so far. Got the second. So he drops one to like 50 life and then snowball to make sure that there could not be a deny while also getting harassed damage. 
and doing a little bit of damage on the creep wave so it doesn't grow out of proportion <laughs> the stun from mike to uh, to stop the range last hit Here he's prioritizing hitting Tiny multiple times instead of CS. He misses about two CS because he's last hitting and... If there's no creep to be CS, missed that one too. Nice. Okay. Okay. <laughs> On the tower, the other cannot trade. Yeah, so you can hit for free. Of course, bottle makes it feel like sometimes trading isn't that important, isn't that useful. He's got seven last hits out of, I believe, 12. He wanted to snowball on Tiny to beat him to the rune. He was about to be late. He said he stayed too long. Well, he used Q to secure the flag bearer. Pretty good job by Mike so far. Yo, thanks for the sub. Hi. Sabinche. <laughs> thanks, Sabinche. Uh, ranged creep confirm. Harass damage on Tiny. And some melee damage. A lot of hits on Tiny. Count the amount of hits he got on Tiny so far. It's three minutes. I think he must have like 10, 15 hits on Tiny. How much would I normally have? I, have I think two. I <laughs> it was baited by Tiny. Did you see that? The cheeky monkey. More than that? Maybe. Look at this. I have for I Hit. Tiny running, tiny running, tiny running, tiny running. Tiny stops. Just to get him to commit and then be in, in the middle of the tower and take another how many shots. Went AFK for a while. He calls it AFK. Maybe it was a mistake? Maybe not. Thompson, I believe, barely streams, but he had like 15,000 viewers. Uh, more than anyone uh, uh, usually ever has. Such as the novelty and his level and reputation. See that aggro pool? Pull his creeps into tower. Yeah, I see it. Who did he click? Went AFK for a while. Yeah, that was fast, right? How did he get there? Camera pull? For a while. Did he click the minimap? I say. Uh, yeah. Well, wow, that took like less than a three quarter second. I usually go there, click. <laughs> Topson did stream a lot before. Oh, I see. Before TI. Arteezy with no cam pulls 25k. Wow. Wait till you see Arteezy views. Wow, I've never seen him stream. I'd love to see Arteezy farm pattern live. <laughs> hey, Schildpad. Thanks a lot. 
for the tier three. Uh, gentle reminder to message Cassandra. She didn't. Uh, I saw the Christmas card list. Artizi farm pattern batches. Yeah. Excalibur. Wait, I have to do something? Can you link me Excalibur? I'll put it in the config uh, directory. What's coming down for you? Can I? Okay, hold on. His decision making. So, this is uh, the Topson mid rotation timing, right? Five minutes. I heard before that he popularized it. 50 seconds before power rune spawns. He looks, he disappears. What's coming down for you? He's level 5.8. Just snowball, lol. And now he's level 6. Oh wow, the game. Oh, that was seamless AF, dude. For a kill and a refill. Worth. Yeah, kill and a refill. So, it. so worth it. Oh, just cut the tree and get a better op sword. Except, it it does become very obvious, doesn't it? This is very obvious that there's going to be an op sword here. Normally, this is less desirable because of the tree and the vision it blocks. Anyone should know that there is a op sword when they see the tree missing. I thought about cutting it before, but usually by the time I think about it, I no longer have a quelling or a tango. That really isn't obvious. Well, it is to me because I've always thought uh, I need to cut this tree for a better ward. So if I saw that tree cut, chances are I'm going to think ward. Watch how he tanked the wave till it siege die by tower first. Yeah, so that he gets a predictable amount of catapult shots. Oh, yeah. Quick, 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 quick. And oh, yeah. And right before his own wave got there as well. Kill him, kill him, kill him. <laughs> Otherwise it switches aggro and then he needs to hit the catapult like eight times. And if his own creeps hit the catapult once, the perfect number of tower hits uh, gets messed up. Stick and TP. He has his face boots. So he 50 50 on the power rune and he got it wrong, right? Yeah. Nothing you can do. He's constantly tapping alt alt. <laughs> ping, ping, ping. But is he gonna farm the jungle to make use of the mana? Oh, he's. Li All right. I usually don't leave the gold behind, but he figures it's warded and he'll make his way back there on the way back. So now he does a double drink and he can go back to the bounty rune. And he leaves it for Ursa, what a bro. Now he can take it on the way back. It feels like it's it costs a lot of time to walk back and forth, don't you guys think? All the way down, past the gold, all the way to the gold again and back mid. And he misses how many waves? But he got a kill. He also bottled Ursa. Oh yeah, I do that sometimes. Mag is Sep, yeah I know. Yeah, now he still has TP available. Ah. Wow. You actually deviate from top to mid. Minus two. Oh, I can kill him. He's gonna be level eight at minute ten. Check your average. Uh, tiny bot. I prefer not. Yeah, I'll check his last hit and his net worth at at ten. I wanna DP up. He has no chrono. <laughs> at at minute yes. ten, I had a net worth of four point two yes, in the Snapfire call game. 
Honestly. Remember when Snapfire was doing the calls and we killed Sniper like three times mid? I was 4.2k net worth at minute 10. And I had a last hit of uh, 35. Who set this match? It's enemy Magnus. Raindrops, and he got the Orb of Corruption. Magic Wand. Nice. Uh, same skill build as Gunnar recommended us. Is he tanking it on purpose? Yeah, a little bit. Fuck, everyone is here. Four bolt, ha 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 ha. Got it. He didn't like cast any spells on faceless. Oh, now he does. Ah, he made sure to lock him in some stun chain so that Chrono Walk wouldn't remove most of the damage. Let's watch that again. Why now? I guess he wanted to surprise him right before he would do a last hit. And he could have tried to do it on the gold creep, which would be an even bigger bait. It's like one more creep. What the fuck but maybe he had no face boots yet. Look, he used face boots to get away. It's on a four second cooldown. Normally, I would imagine he would have gone in now on the gold creep on the flag bearer. But his face boots is available now. So he comes back. Actually, he didn't use his face boots. He just walked up. At any time, faceless could have gone away. That's pretty good. He cost him a blink and 60% of his health. Give me a rune, man. So unlucky. 50 50 lost again. And they say poker's gambling. Snow, punch, cop toss, finish him with the Q. Also trap snap a bit, fairy fire. Puts everyone in for max damage. Nice. Whoops. <laughs> Punch. Uh, I was wondering if he was going to finish his snowball level 4 or one point in tag team. It was indeed the snowball. Runs back to mid. Alright, let's check the 10 minute net worth. 4.48. That's more than my highest ever with Tusk. While still having 46 last hit. I had a 53 last hit with mid clinks, or 56, but much of it was jungle creeps. His are all lane creeps, and he's got three kills Give me a rune, man. So and higher net worth. It's... He did better than I ever did. Think he think. It's true. And he rotated away from mid, rather than having people come mid to gank mid. You know what that means? That he did better? Two things. One, he is better. And two, he is relatively better than his opponents. Which means there is no skill bracket on ladder that can match him. That's the... That's the luxury all of us mortals have. Ti Weiner, uh, Weiner after all, yeah. All of us mortals have the luxury of having suitable playmates, but the top players do not have it. Is that Gabe? You people, and I use the term loosely, but you people need to handle this. Uh, 
sounded like gape announcer. Cave Johnson. Ah, uh, now we have to decide this or. Still the same uh, idea about it as as uh, Gunnar, Dezo or BKB. Dezo, BKB, and Blink. Those are the three options. He but no he order. does have one point in Orb of Corruption, back. 300 gold. So he took that one early because it's such a small investment. So he's decided to go for Dezo later. I'm gonna die here. Punch. Oh, he died. To neutral creeps. Nice. He got a courier and a silencer. CM, come with me. Smoke. Come. He bought his own smoke. Because he's a ganker. And he doesn't want to run the risk that his uh, the support that he happens to go to doesn't have one. If I was Crystal Maiden, I would follow him too. <laughs> Can you come, Brook? He runs, waits for cooldown. The lucky bash, of course. First hit. Yeah, they would have killed Magnus. Oh, he still died. He went for tag team before the level 10 talent, just like Gunnar said. Yeah, he used Krona. It's the actor that plays Jonah Jameson in Spider-Man. Oh, really? Yeah. This one? <laughs> There's like a lot of memes with that guy laughing from the Spider-Man movie. He has RP as well, right? <laughs> Any plans for Thompson coaching? My two favorite streamer. I don't know if I have anything to teach him yet. Phyrophobic. Tiny top run. Or did you mean him me? Teach him Warcraft? Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. They wanna make a play. They're smoking top, I I can teach him AoE 4, Warcraft 3, or Hots. Maybe SC2. He can damage neutrals, but he can't take them very easily. If he had no help, he would be like half-life if he finishes this. Well, maybe not half-life, but the help helps a lot. Okay, they smoke, nice and fluent, with two supports. Fifteen minutes, five point seven k in net worth. This. Look how far and non committal he's standing. Okay, that's good. Cool, cool. Die, one one one. <laughs> that's good. They trade Crystal Maiden ulti and life for using global silence. But to be fair, when you're playing against silencer without BKB, I guess you should never yeah. commit hard into a fight. You cast things from afar until he casts silence and then you won't feel committed without being able to cast any spells. Is he doing fewer middle lane creeps now? He's not using two spells on creep wave almost ever. Let's see if that changes late game, but I have a feeling it may not. Pretty much he's using Q for creep wave and W for escape if need. 
Door der sehr schlecht eingestellt. Wonder if he. Ah, yeah. I was wondering if he was gonna commit to hitting the range creep once. There was three ways to do it. He could. He could. He could uh, walk to the range creep, hit it once, then walk back, and then snowball everything. Ah, sorry, shard. I shard everything. Or he could I shard and then walk up to the range creep to attack it. But what he did was. Don't go for the range creep at all because there's a dark. There is a dark uh, area where he could be comboed. He let it go on purpose, the range creep. I mean, he tried to get it now with the snowball. Let's watch this again. <laughs> nice. He snowballed, didn't insta pop to dodge the entire part of the stone avalanche. Then Jaina went in. I mean, Crystal Maiden went in. That's a later BKB. Didn't waste snowball and snap. Yeah, I would have snowballed snap. Even though she was already stunned by Jakiro. He still didn't pick talent. Just tag teaming now. Red bug. Tag team. Eighty-four last hit, nine kills. Wow. In high rank creep for the bait for the enemy. They know you'll farm the creep. That's why your instinct is important. Yeah. Yeah. People don't plan like that on my level yet. They they're very reactive on my level. They see something appear on vision, then they start going towards it. If you're really high level, like three and a half thousand MMR and above, you start recognizing what creep waves opponents want to touch, and then you know where to stand to trap them. Okay. They were already setting it up. Like this one, this was probably a trap for him, no? Let's go back in time. Let, 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 let's look at the minimap before this happens. If you look over here, right here, there's nobody there. The creep wave goes into the tower. I don't see anybody there. He TPs towards it soon. Now he TPs towards it and he shows up and there's still nobody there. But they know that a creep wave of this size is gonna wanna be addressed by somebody. So do you think that Faceless, ah, not Faceless. Faceless and is dead for one second. Do you think, so he TPs here. You think Magnus is just waiting here? <laughs> yeah, I think Magnus was waiting there and he was hoping for, for Faceless and Snap to follow up. Okay. They were already setting it up. 
Okay, they got their dupe. They use Chrono on. Bottom tower is under attack there. He's just... No Chrono. There's a map cover? Yeah, I know it. It's a Twitch. Not sure if joke or not, poker face. Yeah, joke. Three and a half K is garbage. That was a joke. Uh, this is his ward overlay. I can't remove it, guys. <laughs> It's, it's, it's just one tower. And maybe it's lost it for guns. Take my really shirt. Your courier's dead. I'm glad they're dead. I don't care how that sounds. Does my eyes have bleak? He, d he doesn't TP to the bottom tower. He still hasn't picked talent. Seems like he's gonna max tag team first. Uh, he doesn't go for the extra. I think it's half a second stun on the punch. Not yet. He has three TPs now from his deaths. Hmm. He ate the XP tome. Is it really for him? XP? Great back by Glimmer, <laughs> I literally take you no damage. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. The Wraith backed? Pipe? Yeah, and he has Dagger of Ristil, that one is so good for uh, Tusk. Wraith backed Pipe. And they Glimmer into a wall. Great back by Glimmer, <laughs> I literally take you no damage. Wow, over? What did he take? He went for the 325 health, not the snowball damage, not the walrus stun punch duration. That's the first deviation from Gunnar build. It might be a uh, adaptation to the kind of burst that, that Magnus' uh, tiny silencer can inflict on him or to survive a chrono, I don't know. Or because he's not using W for damage. He's not wave clearing with it. Wraithback active needs to affect allies or enemies? The active is for allies. The passive is for... Uh, no, the active is for both. The passive is allies, and the active does damage to enemy and uh, protection again for allies. Let's see if he stays alive because of the 320 health. I got pushed by the shards. I was snowballed the void, but I ended up way too far from the void after hitting it. I couldn't hit him. Let's see that again. Oh yeah. His shard was wrongly placed. If he could hit him once or twice, he'll be dead. Was it a max range shard? Oh yes, quick cast. 
because he already knows the range of all his spells intuitively. I don't yet, so I don't. I got pushed by the shards. I was not about the void, but I ended up way too far from the void after hitting it. Yeah, it was I not max, ra max range, I don't think. Looks like his hero moved a bit. He clicked before. And, uh, I mean, I don't know what you mean. He got pushed out because he was on the other side of the shard. Might have killed Void with the snowball damage too. <laughs> Actually, that's true. He probably would have died with the 120 extra. He had to move to cast shards at max range. Oh, that's what you're saying? Maybe, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it doesn't uh, snap to the maximum distance. So maybe it was max distance, you're saying? Might be, might be. Unless he moved intentionally. You're not doing this, my friend. Oh, yeah, he took you the 25 tag team no, damage. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, fuck. I'm greedy. Greedy. So much farm. See, he cannot ignore the so much farm. Even his team is fighting still on, on right side lane. You betcha. It's just too good. 1091 gold. Yeah, this was uh, this was 470 gold from the creep wave. Yeah, sure. Got it. You are going nowhere. Come on. He's showing off, yeah. Effortless tricks. That was cool. I mean, he has chrono. I leave the end. He, but the thing is, he doesn't have an arrow, Boomsy. He's not using the arrow recursing back at himself. He does it with quick cast, so he just knows. He just knows where to click on the on the character's face. Need my blink so I can jump. Where's the witch? I remember I went for this build, Magic Wand, Face Boots, Desolator, BKB and Blink, but in a different order. I got my BKB last and I didn't have it finished by 38 minutes. So he's a good 15 minutes earlier than me. My minute 40 task is worse than his minute 25. Because, you know, the pilot still pilots the plane. No matter how fast the plane is. Oh. He didn't use Q fast enough, so it didn't hit silencer. <laughs> My region just went off one second too early. Even if he's never played Clinks, it will still be four times as good as mine. <laughs> I'm only comparing myself tongue in cheek. I'm not serious about this, guys. Oh, we've got. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Right before this comment came, right before this comment came, I thought, let me just tell people that I'm comparing tongue in cheek, because I know there's going to be some gatekeepers. I have been coming. Oh. I shouldn't satisfy a question like that with an answer, but 
D. I should have satisfied that with an answer, but yes, I do realize that. Thanks for keeping me uh, humble. Sorry. Did anyone else realize that? No bash. <laughs> Wonder what item he would get next. I would imagine Aghanims. Uh oh. He can just blink out. <laughs> he didn't die. <laughs> Meow. Cool. Uh, yeah, it's cool to see that uh, it's pretty much almost all of it as uh, Gunnar coached me. All right. All right. Yeah. Just need to execute better. Just be as good as Topsim. We're almost there.